Uh, we looked at this polynomial earlier, now we're going to use the crisscross method. Well, two numbers that multiply to 6 are uh, 3 and 2. Uh, two numbers that multiply to negative 12, um, we could use negative 6 and positive 2, or we could use negative 12 and positive 1. I find it usually good to try numbers that are close to the, um, that are as close together as possible. So maybe we'll try uh, negative 4 and positive uh, 3. So if we try negative 4 and positive 3, 3 times 3 is 9, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, and when I add these together I actually get plus 1. I got it right on my first try. That doesn't always happen, but 3 times 3 is 9 and 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 9 is 1, that's what I wanted it to be. So I can just now read across 3x minus 4 times 2x plus 3. And I kind of show that my rough work is off to the side.